everybody so this is my part two of my son's vlogging vlog hopefully the screen is recording for me yeah it should be um, so on my last well the part one I just made these fine ladies <laughs> they're sisters um, so this part two is going to be building the house so um, just like before it's mostly going to be soft spoken maybe some whispering and stuff like that um, so yeah I don't even think I'm going to build a house for you though I think we're just going to I don't want to go into detail about it because it might be good I just think we're just going to build you know it's going to be fun to look at apologise about the car noises in the background, um, unfortunately I do live on quite a busy road until about June time, so hopefully when I move in June it should be a little bit better, but anyway, hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, so just waiting for it to be moved in. slow because as we speak part one is being uploaded to YouTube so um, probably overworking the computer a little bit but getting there in the end so um hopefully everyone's doing fine oh sorry that was my phone um what I was gonna mention as well I did briefly touch upon it on part one but um, just to mention now I have got quite a few videos planned um, I've got them written down in my bullet journal so bullet journal is something that I've started doing in I'd say beginning of February if you don't know what a bullet journal is it is it's great it is just a journal that you can keep everything in so um, just express yourself in your journal you can put as much or as little as you want um, now I'm going to be posting a couple of videos of what I use my Bujo for um, but that's where all of my video ideas are noted down I have had a couple of requests like um, to do another lollipop eating video some more water sounds so they will definitely be coming up um, I've got them all written down the only problem is for me is I do work full time so it's hard for me to um, record as much as I want to but I will definitely get those videos in as soon as I can um, so let's just let's just start it now I'm going to stop waffling on anyway but there are some future videos coming up leave them in there they can look after themselves in the house I'm sure because um, what I'm going to be doing is building the house probably from scratch um, it depends I mean if there's you know quite a nice one already there that I can just build upon then I will do but if not then I'll just enjoy it so I do like to give it a go I haven't actually played this one just for record um, I have a couple of families on some of the other ones but I haven't got any on here so well except for that I've just had it what I think I'm going to do is maybe build on the 
this patch of ground here. I wouldn't want to bulldoze anything, so I'll just start over here and see what we can get. See what we can make. And then I think I'll just begin with the um, my latest one that I built. I mean, if I do more Sims videos in the future, then I can always show you those, but it depends, you know, if you like that one or not. So, I'll just show you, you know, the basics. Um, obviously, I know how to use these, but a lot of people don't have Sims 4 or are new to it, so um, then we'll do quite a few clicking and keyboard sounds. If that annoys anyone, then show you guys how Ugh, go away. Fine, that's fine, thank you. Go away. Am I missing something? How do I turn this off? Like it's so annoying. Okay. I'm just gonna do what I want me to do so then I can carry on with what I wanted to say. Fine. Okay. So the first thing that we have Objects by room, so you know, uh, kitchen, toilet, etc. etc. And that's where you would, you know, just place whatever you want. But oh, what have I done? Uh, I'm so silly, I'm not even sure what I've pressed, so I'm not sure where it's taking me. My setup really is not ideal right now. Just behind my keyboard, and I'm trying my best not to make any harsh noises. So, um, anyway, let me just get back onto the world, and I'll continue with this. So, before I was rudely interrupted, this is objects by function, so pretty much the same deal. You just click whatever you need, cleaning, storage, etc., etc., or you can just show it all. And that's, you know, you can do it that way. This would be any um, owned furniture by the sim at the time, but obviously I'm not playing the sim, so that does apply. We've got styled rooms here, which are rooms that, if, you know, you want some inspiration or you can't build them yourself, you can either just click it by item or you can click by whole rooms and buy it that way. So, what we're going to start off by doing is just start the house. So, you'll see this path is here, so I'm probably going to build it at the front of the house this way. Now, it is quite a big plot, so I'm not sure whether to have, you know, like a nice big garden and a normal sized house or just a massive house covering the whole area. Um, so just to quickly run through the tools, we've got the U tool which is just building a wall. Um, you know that's a wall, you can build a house just like that. And then you can put a roof on it, etc etc. Um, so that's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. That was the sledgehammer tool I just used there which you get rid of um, blocks. This is so you can move it, but again, I don't want it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, this is the eyedropper, so if I had, I don't know, let's say I had a stove. If you want another one of the same thing, you can just use the eyedropper. The shortcut is E, so if you press E on the keyboard, it will copy it for you. Okay, I don't want to use them, so I'm just going to sell those. Okay, I'll go through the rest of these a little bit later on. What I'm going to 
start off by doing is deciding what kind of shape I want. You can just build a square one if you like. Or you can do, you know, custom where you can just do it for you effectively. Like that. So you get the point. Again, this isn't what This is for a basement, so if I did that, it would go underneath the ground, which you can see by looking down here, or by using your keyboard, and just press the top. I'm not really sure on this keyboard, I'm usually used to using a Max keyboard, so uh, let's see, I guess I'll just use it this way, that's our basement. I'm going to use the sledgehammer to get rid of it because I am bad at that. Oh, don't do that. Get rid of everything. Okay, um, so these two are basements. These are just different room shapes. Um, so that's an octagon. You can zoom in. Obviously, that's not an ideal size for a room, so you just Alter the size however you want to, you know, that's a bigger room. I'm going to sell that as well, these, um, I don't really ever use, but effectively what they are are just platforms. So, yeah, it's like a deck I believe, but I don't, I never really use that room. Again, it's just a deck, so you can have the other sides of your house. No, I can't put that part in. Okay, uh, this tree is annoying and it's in the way, but we'll have to see if we can live with it. Not on my blog. Okay, I, what I usually do is have the walls showing just the ones that aren't blocking the view, whereas if you had them all up, for example, if you had that, if you had that, obviously you couldn't see what's behind this wall, whereas if you have it that way, you can see everything in the house. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on. Let's see if we can design a house. Now this house is just going to be a really simple one just to show the gist of how you would use it but it's probably going to be bulldozed as soon as I've you know, built it so let's just start with a standard I'm just going to move it back because I like to have a patio and so which I will do now turn off and on. I usually keep it on because it you know it helps to make sure you're keeping everything even. Um, I don't know whether to have I think I'll have two floors but they're not the same size. So let's maybe Sure, if I'll have a basement either yet. Or should I make it like a three tier cake?
Hmm. I think I'll get rid of this gold first. Just put it back on. Oh, okay, let's just <laughs> start again with that, I suppose. Have like a house flying in midair. Now, some I still enjoy it, so I do do it quite often. Oh, and I'm pretty level. So yeah, I would four squares each. Just to make sure it's even in the middle. Now we do the roof. Let's try this roof. Look at this. I think I would prefer it that way actually. Let me just move that to the right. This is such a weird house. what I'm pressing is I'm pressing F1 instead of escape and it's bringing me to the bloody map every time so let's just try not to do that again to be honest this is probably going to be such an ugly house but It's just one of those games that you can just relax and play. You don't have to compete with anyone. You can just take your own time. Just do whatever you want. Oh, I'm still really not liking that one. What if I try and put it back now? Oh, it's true. As I said, it's probably going to be really messy anyway, so I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to stress too much about it. So let's have a chimney. Let's see if I can get something off that. Okay, so the other 
outside of the house. I usually have I don't know what I usually have to be honest with you. I'm just gonna have a look and see what it looks like so I should just go like crazy and just have like wallpaper all around. <laughs> they could have a brick house, that is not nice. But no. I'm probably going to end up changing the roof as well, so don't mind that just yet. looking like so far. Not great I know but it will do for Sims purposes. Because I don't really have one. I like that one. Hmm. Which one do you prefer? I think I prefer that one. Yeah, okay. Let's get a nice door. Foundation tools are always those, or house I've ever got in mind. I usually have mine, so I have some stairs going to the patio where I'll probably be doing this. Let's see what we shall do. Stone will be a different colour. How does that look? No, it doesn't look very good. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm just gonna. Maybe in that way. Oops. Because I could have the stairs going up here, couldn't I? Uh, what am I trying to say? Which ones do I like? These fur. Some railings. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like you know. I guess I have a block here. That could be quite nice. Oh, there are some nice things in that here.
sorry about the uh, lounge roommates that I have. Let's just decrease them a little bit maybe. Yeah, I think we got that. Now I don't really like the wall of the house. <laughs> As usual in this I'm lost corner. Oh, surely there must be just one that I like. Like, do there any houses around that I can copy? think of what like I usually use. I think it's because I don't usually change the outside too much, especially if there's already a lot on. Um, what's a different colour? Um, okay, maybe I should come back to that because I'm being Now my problem is, without picking the colour of the house, I don't know what door I'm going to go, because I like this door, but will it go with the house once I, I only need what I need? And uh, just another tip that I have, this design tool, the shortcut is R, as you can see, if you click that, you can uh, see the colours and go up. try once more to find a wall that I actually like. I want it to be light and black to go with. Hmm. Shall I also change the roof? Um, I don't think I've actually got any ugliest house I've ever seen. Okay, it's, an, it's, it's all about what's inside that counts, guys, so usually do with windows first. I just feel like adding the windows outside gives you a base to work with for the inside. So like I think that's just me.
I should just have messy windows. Should I put a mimic in the walls too? Maybe by building a deck in a mimic? Oh, that's not what I meant. Too many windows. That makes sense. So indecisive. This must be so annoying to be watching. Here, it's my gate outside, so I do apologise about that racket. <laughs> what I think I'm going to do is start inside because this video will literally be hours long if I don't get another one. So, we were talking about the star dreams earlier. If you know you're not, if you're like me and you're indecisive and you don't like designing for more than a room, these are a good you just click in here and like you know put it wherever you want first thing I usually do is decide where I want the stairs oh. get the stairs back up I usually just go with the plain ones some lights around the place <sighs> just to uh, sort of let the chance of what I'm doing don't want to be out of it because not going to do that way so I'll just put a couple of these up all around at least now we can actually see what we're working with oh no Okay, these are gonna go. So they may look hideous and ugly right now, but they'll be lovely. So I think we've pretty much gone through the basics in the video. You know how to use the walls, the basement, etc. I'll just show you if I did want a basement how I would do it. So usually just press like B to get to the water. This um, on your hover, if it has a letter next to it, that's the short column keyboard. And then you just go across. So um, let's say I wanted it half the size of the house because I wanted some stairs to go on the left hand side. 
you just draw it and underneath there's a raised knot. You could also have you know one on each side and then maybe a loop or two or a little walkway just like that. So if you go down, oh, I'm still drawing. If you go down you have this which you can you know alter however you want it. So now it's like a H shape. up, sorry, down, you'll be able to see me, no, I did mean up, if you put the walls up you'll be able to see more, you'll be able to see more of the, how you got the basement set up at the moment, if you wanted it to be, you know, a continuous room rather than obviously at the moment you'd have doors, well, I'm just going to leave that door for now just to show you, you'd have doors connecting all the different rooms. If you didn't want that you could use the sledgehammer to get rid of whatever you want to get rid of. So just like that. So now it would be one You get the point. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this basement anyway because I don't need it. Oh, I just got a notification that part one's just been uploaded. So as soon as this, I think what I'm going to do is make it a three or four part. So this was just kind of the basic you know how to use each of the tools etc. Part three is going to be actually making the rooms and making it a fully functional house. So let's just save it at the moment. I'm going to end this video now and post this as part two and start working on part three. So if you've made it this far then congratulations because that was boring as hell. <laughs> Um, but hopefully it was useful to at least some people if you know you don't have the game or you're looking to start it or whatever. So um, I will get going on you know, part three now and then we can catch up then. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.